Welcome back, Noel. Looks pretty calm yeah. over Marquette right now. How long yeah. will that last? Man, it's going to last uh, to the evening. I think overnight might be a bit of a change for us, but at least we could see some of this gleaming sun try to peek through the clouds. It is partly sunny over Marquette at this hour. We're looking at temperatures in the mid 40s in the Queen City. And just a few hours ago, the pressure was over 30 inches on that barometer now has fallen. So now we're starting to see a change and Ben wanted to ask and here it is. We're starting to feel it. There is a south wind around 10 miles per hour or so across the central UP at this hour. For the Almanac from National Service Marquette, the sun sets at 634 p.m. Eastern time and the temperatures at the weather forecast office Nagani Township area 44 degrees just tipped above the average and for the rest of Upper Michigan we got some temperatures at average or below but for the western counties that's where we stayed cool especially up in the Keweenaw Harvey area Market County a high temperature of 51 Silver City 49 and a lot of us would take it because it started off pretty chilly for your Thursday some lows dropping through the teens across the western central interior Wakefield 14 ish Plumbing area as well. 16 degrees in PV Falls with a reading of 17 this morning. Varigo Plains and Meriwether 18. So we'll take this fairly mild drive here. The jet stream will start to park itself over Upper Michigan. And when it's over us during this time of the year, we could count on some mild temperatures. And then, but as we do that, you see it's like a northwesterly flow. It's going to draw in some energy from the front. It's actually over near, it's just going to be west of James Bay. It'll be skirting towards James Bay tomorrow, but we'll get the southern branch of the front will also get the extension from a low pressure system. It's starting to strengthen and entering the pack northwest at this hour. Eventually that energy will bring us some more rain on Sunday. But we're going to look at what's come, what's to come overnight. It's going to be mostly cloudy as you see on your future radar and wind gusts past the midnight hour and just some brushes of light wintry showers, rain and snow. It'll start to speckle across the central and eastern counties early morning. The extension of that front from the pack northwest will help drive some of this, or at least before from the Dakotas, it'll make its way eventually over the central UP Friday morning. And you see the faint colors, they're light. It's going to be light in intensity. It looks like it's just going to splatter us for our Friday. Winds will be from the southwest about 20 to 25 miles per hour. And the swath of rain will start to push eastward as we end the Friday afternoon. We'll get some breaks in the clouds and some spotty mixed showers across Friday. And temperatures will eventually stay on the cool side. Northwest winds will gust over 20 miles per hour. Blustery Friday into Saturday. We could count on the clouds to break up a bit more sunshine for the first part of the weekend. Precipitation forecast will be light in the amounts there. Not expecting more than ten a tenth of an inch of total precipitation for your Friday. So nothing to worry about there. Tonight's lows will be around the 30 degree range, 20s out west. Your highs tomorrow overall in the 40s across Upper Michigan for Friday. TV6 extended forecast. We're going to have a stretch of some warm weather for the next four days at least into Sunday. We fall back an hour, right? There is the system that we talked about over the pack northwest. It looks to bring some rain. It'll be spreading across upper Michigan. It'll be light, occasional, moderate for Sunday, but then it could come heavy as we get into Monday. Just beware that we'll get that cold transition. There could be a chance for wet snow by next Thursday, Ben. We'll have oh to worry boy. about some ice. Oh boy. Thank you, Noel. Mm -hmm. Coming up in sports, we'll preview our high school game of the week. Thank you.